Hi, we love it. Still in the series of love, I want to talk to you today about uh, the topic of God's love is now. Hallelujah. In Matthew 4, verse 23, it was said that Jesus went around Galilee and then he preached in the synagogues and also he preached the, the, the gospel, the kingdom of God, and then he healed all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. All. So probably when people came, whomever they are, what, whatever backgrounds they, 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 are, they were from, they were healed. But you see, sometimes when I think about it, maybe some of these people are not really grateful about it. So when they came home, and they, after they're being healed, then they're not really uh, uh, believing in God. They're not really ministering or serving God anymore, probably. But maybe there's a speculation. Let me just quote to you in, in Luke 17. This is about the 10 lepers. You see, Jesus healed the 10 lepers. And they said, and he said to them that you go to the priest and show yourself. And on the way going there, all of them, all of them, 10 of them were healed. But the Bible says that only one came back to Jesus and gave him thanks. And Jesus said, well, there were 10 of you and all of you were healed. But why only one came and gave thanks? Sometimes when I think about it, it's such a wasted, uh, wasted um, healing uh, effort from Jesus because uh, the nine lepers who were ill healed were not really grateful and came back to Jesus. It's seem, it seems wasted. But you see, God loves us now when we ask to Him. Remember many times you and I, when we committed sins, we came to Him and say, Lord, forgive me. And even we said this, Lord, forgive me, and I will not do it again. And God is an omniscient God. He knows everything. He knows the future. He knows what we are going to do in the future. And he knows that we are going to repeat the same sin. But when we came to him with tears in our eyes, with repentant hearts, saying that we're not going to do that again, even though he knows that we are going to do that, do that again, he forgives us. He forgave us. His love is now, beloved. Well, it doesn't mean that uh, God is taking lightly into our problems, that he just ignore the things that probably we are going to do it again. The Bible says in Romans 2, 4, says that we should not despise or underestimate the goodness of God because the goodness of God will leads, us in, leads us into repentance. So God love, God's love is now and he accepts us the way we are now. That's his goodness. And this goodness should lead us into a better person. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I wanted to, to quote also in John 11. Remember, the last time I was talking about the topic of whom you love. When Lazarus was sick, and finally he died. And Jesus, upon receiving the message from Mary and Martha, he, he deliberately stayed for another two days in there, wherever he was. And he said that, well, this sickness is not going to bring death but it will glorify god and after all after the two days then he said to the disciples let's go to judea because lazarus is asleep is asleep and the disciple says well if he's asleep he's going to be recovered and Jesus said no actually he died but thank god that i'm not there so that you can learn to believe, Jesus said to the disciples. So he, when, he, when, when he arrived in Bethany, Martha came out and met Jesus uh, 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 outside of the house, somewhere in the distance from the house, and she cried. And then she came home and told Mary, and Mary went to see Jesus, and she cried, and the people around her cried. And this is what amazed me. I think this is the shortest sentence in the Bible. Upon watching those, the heart of Jesus was troubled, feeling so sad, and Jesus wept. What? Jesus wept. 
How could it be that Jesus, from the previous verses, we understood that Jesus deliberately stayed over two more days where he was staying and then knowing that Lazarus would die and he died and the purpose of Jesus was to raise him up and then when he saw Mary and Martha and the people around her around them were crying he also cried was that uh, 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 some kind of a drama <laughs> Jesus knew he's going to raise Lazarus from the dead but he took time to cry, beloved. This is a message for you and for me. God's love is now, even though he knows he's going to raise Lazarus in a few minutes or maybe in 10 or 20 minutes. It doesn't matter, probably less than an hour. He's going to raise Lazarus, but he took time to cry with Mary and Martha and people who mourn over that. Jesus loves you and me. And his love is now. When we come to him, then he looks at our heart now. He is crying with you and with me together. He's feeling what you are feeling. He's a caring God. If it were me, probably I would just say, Martha, Mary, hang on, hold on. Don't worry. I'm going to do flick of a finger and Lazarus will be <laughs> arose from the dead but will be risen from the dead but I am not God God is God He loves you and me so very much His love is now His love is now and He's going through everything that we are going through together with us Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember that God loves you and me so very much. He's good and His faithfulness endures forever. Amen.